Hi folks, at the top again to test a bunch of new lures, all made of timber, sealed with propylamate and uh, hand painted with acrylic paints. Here's a crankbait. It's a tight wiggle. That's nice. I guess I could use it as a diving jack bait. You know, jack it down and let rise again. Jack down, let rise. Okay. Of course, all lures require require toe eye tuning in the outdoors. Um. Here's a a real big one. Deep diver with a three millimeter Lexan lip. Yeah, barely floats. This one is too large to test in the tub. Oh, it has a tight wiggle. That's nice. I've made a similar lure last year, though a bit smaller and with only two trebles. That performed pretty well. In the both in terms of casting and also its swimming action. So I thought I'd make the bigger one and a trout pattern. Okay, this one works, has a tight wiggle, but it's, it's almost impossible to display in the bathtub. This one would go down 15 feet plus for sure, rather towards 20, I guess. I designed this one for one particular fishing club pond, that hence the trout pattern, because pike go after trout there. Here's another deep diver with a pin, aluminum, aluminum lip. You see, due to the big lip it's quite, it's a bit nose heavy, though it has ballast embedded into the tail. Yeah, nice action as well. More pronounced than the previous big lure. Painted this one in vibrant colors. Since so sometimes if I've noticed if pike are reluctant, such colors still teases them to strike. Not because that they are hungry or confusing this uh, lure with the natural prey, just because it's disturbing their eyes. That's my theory. Okay, here's a shallow diver in the perch pattern. Yeah, no complaints about this one. As I said before, toe eye tuning required to all lures. Has a nice roll in action, this one. Would dive three feet or so. Okay. Now a, another perch pattern, quite similar, but the old type uh, uh, with a lure with a Z lip, kind of deep diving lip, deep diving Z lip, yeah nice action this one has. Actually this one is made on request of a friend, he wants it to fish in a river about 10 feet deep. And uh, I think it might reach the 10 feet with this uh, lip. Might be only 8, but I guess it's going to be okay. You see the lower portion of the Z lip is quite long. This has been turned from a bachi with a belly slot. And actually the entire belly slot has been filled up uh, with a 1mm lead sheet together with the wire harness. So very well balanced lure. Another demand of him was that the lure would cast very well and I guess due to the lip doesn't provide too much resistance in the air and the spindle shaped body it would has uh, less uh, resistance in the air. Here's another lure for this guy. Also wants it to be deep and run deep and cast well. In a typical red hat pattern, also swims nice, 
but probably this one might run too deep for him and uh, I'm not quite sure whether it would uh, cast very well though I've put a lot of weight into the tail as well so uh, after my experience such lures do cast well because the big lip acts like some kind of stabilizing rudder on flight but uh, it depends I have to find out or better said he has to find out <laughs> My own versions of such lure, they did cast well. This is why I made it for him. On request in the old type uh, red hat pattern. Okay, no complaints. And now, an experimental of a lure that is uh, shown on uh, YouTube and uh, on uh, Stripers Online. I just made it after pictures there and I'm not sure whether it would perform yeah the top is too small yeah it has a little wiggle wave pattern or hunting action I'm working on another version of Meranti wood this one is of Apache wood and uh, I've tested the blank and it couldn't take any ballast without losing the action. You see it sits quite high in the water. But I guess once the diving vane shoulders into the water, you see, it tends to to perform a little wave pattern. I don't know what, whether you can see it in the top. The problem is to get it down and... Uh, the diving plane would catch up, but I think it would work. Swim in a narrow wave pattern. That's what the original did as well, what I've seen on YouTube. Um, I'm eager to find out how the other one would perform. One more thing is, I don't know if you can see it, it has a kind of an egg-shaped cross-section. Um, the belly is uh, less pointed than the back. That means the lure is more buoyant down the belly than the back. The back is more pointed. This means it uh, could lay on its side easier because it lacks buoyancy on the back end. And uh, I did this for the hunting action. I have to find out in the open water this way. I think it's not a reject. And uh, I'm eager to find out how my other version would perform because that one has been turned on a lathe. But it's of Meranti, thus uh, heavier than this one. And would get to hang deeper in the water. So maybe the diving wing would catch up better with the water to cause the lure to perform. Alright, here's a little block. I've made after uh, the old Haddon zigzag plug, which I found on a collector's site in the internet. So I've copied this one by pictures. So Haddon advertised with a duplex action that the lure would be hunting. And obviously this one does. A bit. Somewhat irregular wiggle. See, it floats high in the water. It's also made of a batchy wood and doesn't have any added ballast because I've tried to add ballast to the blank, but uh, I, I knew that with this kind of lures with integrated diving planes at the nose, any ballast most likely doesn't do any good and decreases the action. Well, I'm satisfied with this one. I'm catching one of the or the other pike on such old old style plots, and uh, nobody else fishes them <laughs> because they're old fashioned. Well, I like them. Here's another one, zigzag copy. This one is made of Meranti. Thus, thus it's a bit heavier. You see, hangs a tad deeper in the water. But, at the blank test, this one did not perform well. Okay, it requires toy tuning. 
But this one, I guess this one has the advertised action of Haddon back in the day. I think the longer rear section provides guidance to let the lure hunt to the sides. Of course, I need to uh, need to uh, adjust the toy. Oh, it's it's a pity I do not have access to an old original Zigwag, because they stopped making them in the early 1950s. Yeah, it pulls to one side. Oh, I'm satisfied with all of this bunch of lures. And i uh, give them a try. As from 1st May on, the local pike closing time is through. So I'm uh, going to have a lot of lures to pack in my tackle box and try them all in local pike. I'm very confident on such old time plugs. I really am. I've caught heaps of pike on them. Not the largest ones, but it's great fun to fish these. Alright, thanks a lot for watching folks. These were my actual lures. Some more to come in a couple of weeks. But uh, I'm saying goodbye. See you next time. Goodbye.